and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is going to be my collection for the original 2008 Iron Man movie, both on DVD and Blu-ray. I'll be showing Iron Man 2, 3 and the rest of the Marvel films in separate videos, so please do go and check them out. I believe I have 23 different versions of Iron Man on a singular format, plus a few more that are on sort of collections. I'm just going to go for the singular ones before in this video. So the first one we're going to be having a look at here is a recent release and this was the um, uh, sort of re-release in the UK with these kind of gold slip cases that were put out obviously just before the kind of the new Avengers kind of film came out. Uh, Iron Man 2008 is actually one of my favourite MCU films. Uh, so this is one I was kind of, I'm happy to get kind of a, a few different copies of. But let's have a look at what else we've got. Looking quite similar to that actually is a Spanish release of Iron Man. This is an older one. And this has got a, a slip case obviously featuring the white background and obviously Iron Man there. Different to the kind of the rest of the kind of the, the launches. Um, not maybe the most exciting release ever, but nonetheless, you don't see that all that often. So that is a Spanish release. Now we're going to head into DVD for a little while, and uh, this is one of my actually my favourite items of Iron Man, and uh, this is a what's called a gift wrapped and ready uh, version. So basically, this one it's kind of um, got this kind of sleeve which has got this Iron Man wrapping paper, and this was a, basically a re-release over the Christmas of. Uh, of the release of the original uh, you know dvd release and um i think it's great i think it's because you've got a lot of these have probably been opened uh because they're not really con pretty considered necessarily a collector's item at the time just kind of a bit of a novelty so i'm really happy to kind of have this one and uh yeah it's got this kind of uh, uh arc reactor sort of style wrapping paper if you pull the slip case out basically it's completely wrapped up so i think it's pretty neat Uh, next up here we have this German release, and this has actually got a steel tin, uh, which is quite cool. Um, now these tins I have kind of mixed feelings of, because I don't think they're particularly sturdy. And also the corners are razor sharp, so if you manage to catch yourself on one of these corners, you're likely going to cut yourself. And you would simply pull this out, and obviously inside you would obviously have your regular DVD inside there. Um, so yeah, if you, similar to a steel book in a way. But actually a completely, you know, metal sleeve, basically. So that is the German release of that. Coming back to the UK, uh, they had the ultimate two-disc edition of Iron Man, uh, which comes with this uh, step case, which has got a die-cut hole for the arc reactor. You pull that off and the actual sleeve is Tony Stark underneath of the arc reactor. Um, again, not a mega, kind of like... Collectible release, so to speak, but uh, nonetheless, it's quite good. Now, on the first glance, this will look quite similar to that. This is actually a Comic Con exclusive uh, slip that's got a lenticular and actually flips between the uh, Mark 1, Mark 2, and Mark 3 armors. Uh, it's quite good. So, this was only available at Comic Con. As you can see there, and is limited to um, 5,000. Comic Con 2008, so it's you know it's an older piece now. Pretty funky. Uh, then we have this Dutch metal pack. Uh, just to kind of clarify, metal packs are very similar to steel books. The only difference is that the spine is slightly different. There's a hinge on the actual spine rather than the kind of plate. Uh, but nonetheless, this is a great metal pack um, and it's embossed. And you've got a cool kind of shot of Iron Man there, which is kind of embossed. Um, and obviously on the back there. Uh, you can tell it's Dutch because of the uh, the way the age logos are on them. It's kind of typical of that kind of part of the world. In the UK, uh, we had this DVD still book that came out. This was the initial launch. It wasn't out in the UK initially on uh, Blu-ray still book, only in Canada, I believe. Uh, anyway, this is the U UK still book. Fairly simple. Embossed writing on there, and I kind of got this nice kind of border around it. 
I think this was maybe an H and V so I can't really remember now to be brutally honest. Uh, we have this French steelbook, um, very similar to the one I've just shown you. Obviously, a, a kind of mirrored image and a little bit more kind of zoomed in on them and without the border. Uh, but nonetheless, it is a different different steelbook there. So fun French version. Probably one of my favourite steelbooks of Blu-ray and DVD is this one actually, and this is the. Um, German version and uh, I really I love this pose of Iron Man uh, to be honest with you I think it's really great as Deadpool would say the, the hero pose um, <laughs> Yeah, kind of cheesy now. Maybe he's kind of spot that but I, I really like it uh, a really great uh, picture of, of obviously Iron Man in the armor there and Yeah, a pretty decent and still book if I do say so uh, Next up we're gonna have this one which is a box set uh, and this one has got a kind of a mask, moulded mask, where you'd flip it open and, and the DVD would be on the inside, obviously, of the uh, Iron Man himself. You can actually get a Blu-ray version, and I could have picked that up a couple of times, but I chose not to, so I kind of regret now. And, um, you know, there's other things to buy now, so to be honest, as I've got it on DVD, it, it, it's good enough. Uh, so there you go, that is the, uh, the mask box set. But I'm going to put that over here. The glare is not going to help because we do have another version and this is the uh, Mark II oh, sorry, the Mark I version, or yeah, the Mark II, my bad so as you can see here, it's silver I mean, it's sometimes referred to as the War Machine version but it's not War Machine because he wasn't in the first film uh, but as you can see there, it's silver compared to the gold colouring uh, and I believe this was a retailer who excludes it at Target in the US so you have the UK version and an American version there Uh, then we have a couple of, uh, of box sets. This one is a Best Buy exclusive, and um, let me just pull the camera out a little bit. Ooh, wrong way. And uh, yeah, you've got an Iron Man bust in there. It's a really small bust. It's by Sideshow Collectibles, and uh, yeah, limited edition gift sets. Again, you've got the Ultimate Edition on the side there, and I think these things look like coming with like a a gift card or something which is obviously going to be expired now yeah like, no and was more of a pamphlet just to try and get you to buy more shite side so collectible things to be quite honest with you now this is my most recent edition and uh, this is a japanese box set uh, with the original iron man film that comes with a small uh, iron man statue that's what the statue looks like it is pretty small, it kind of almost looks like it's like a Star Wars figure sort of size, if if you know what I mean. And uh, the actual Blu-ray here, again, has a different kind of sleeve to other ones that have been available. So it kind of makes it fairly unique. So let's get on to some uh, still books. I actually have quite a few still books for this release. Uh, first one we're going to have is actually a metal pack. And uh, this was a fairly recent release in uh, in Germany, and um, you know it's a very heavily embossed uh, pack here with obviously a, again a kind of a variation on the kind of the Iron Man mask there. So this one's not technically a steelbook; it is a metal pack again because if you see that it's fine, but I quite like it. Done that. Some people are against metal packs. I don't really mind if I'm honest. Uh, this is one of the more expensive versions and one of the more original releases of, of uh, steelbooks in general, to be quite honest, on, blue, on the Blu-ray format. And this is a German uh, re initial release uh, by a retailer there called Mediamart. And, um, you know, it's not one of the cheaper items, to be honest. Um, and, you know, again, it's the same sort of picture that we've seen on plenty of these uh, cases. It does kind of, it is a little boring if we're being completely honest. But nonetheless, it is a uh, quite a collectible piece these days. That is the Media Mart Steelbook. In the UK, uh, we had this Play.com version, and this came out a little later than the, um, uh, uh, the 
original movie release came out on the, on Blu-ray and everything. And again, this one goes for quite a bit of money. Um, again, it's the same sort of pose, but just a little bit pulled out and stuff. Uh, yeah, so this one this one probably goes for a fair bit of money. I mean, obviously, if you keep these things sealed like this one, it obviously it goes for that much more. But sometimes you want to have a look at these things. I understand. Uh, Zavi released uh, this version uh, in, in recent years and um, yeah, it's, it's obviously got this lenticular magnet on the front here. This is one of the earlier kind of lenticular magnets that they did. Not particularly exciting, doesn't get much movement on it and um, you know, again it's the very similar shot of Iron Man there. On the surface this one might not look particularly special. But this is actually the Future Shop um, Steelbook. So this was the first Steelbook from Iron Man on Blu-ray, and as such, is goes for quite a bit of money and was one of the first sort of Steelbooks that really kind of came out on the Blu-ray format. And um, you know, it's one of the more expensive things you can get these days. I mean, it's, it's the thing is with Steelbooks now, but they're overshadowed because we get so many. Re releases from like premium, oh no, you know, kimchi or blue fans that always have like three versions of different slip cases. Some of the older ones get kind of lost in the shuffle a little bit, but this was uh, this was an important re release to be quite honest with you, and it's, it's quite sought after now. And uh, you know, quite often you'll lose a J card of these ones. Um, so obviously, if you know, if they're unsealed and stuff, people often threw away the J card. Uh, next up we have a release from uh, Kimchi, talking about Korean releases. Uh, and again, well, this, this one was quite good because I thought they had a different artwork on it. And again, a pretty decent pose from uh, from uh, Iron Man themselves. It's Korea, Kimchi is a Korean version. And uh, they do these, what they call premium steel books, which are kind of like lots of bump in them. And this one has got this nice little card, limited to 700 pieces, as you can see there. Uh, mine's 495. And uh, yeah, kind of real cool, uh, real cool pose I've got to say of Iron Man. And also they did um, this sort of slipcase version. It's the same still because I've just shown you, but it has this kind of uh, lenticular slipcase on it. Uh, at the time, I was kind of quite into the, all these different ones, but in more recent years, I've, there's just so many, so many companies do these now. I've kind of had to sort of give up on it to a certain degree. Um, and this one is limited to 3,000 copies. And we have Blue Fans, probably notoriously the hardest company to get stuff from. Um, and again, it's the same sort of uh, steelbook that we've seen before. Limited to 1,000 pieces. And then finally, last thing, uh, Blue Fans also did the Iron Man stub with the slip. And again, it comes with a probably to be fair, a better lenticular uh, cover there, switching between Tony Stark and Iron Man himself. And this one was limited to 3,000 pieces. Okay, so that concludes my Iron Man collection. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Please do check out my other Marvel videos and give us a like, give us a subscribe should you feel you'd like to, I'd appreciate it. And thanks for watching, bye for now.